In this video, we're going to go through a sample unpacking a standard. This is the example from the grade three unit, which is linked to this document on the planning website. So the first thing in the workflow is to find the nouns, verbs, and adjectives in the standard. And we just simply list the standards down in the box below it. So this is the yellow section of the top of this workflow. So we can see that grade three has uh, four language arts standards for reading. And what we do is we simply unpack those into the nouns, the verbs, and the modifiers or adjectives and adverbs. Let's start with the nouns. The nouns indicate the content of the unit and the concepts that students will know and understand. And so here in this list, we have uh, bolded those nouns. So these are the key vocabulary and key terms that students will learn and interact and use with, uh, during the unit. In the second column, we have verbs. And the verbs in the standards become a list of skills that are taught and or assessed in the unit. And so from the standards picked for this unit, grade three have found that these are the verbs that students will perform throughout the unit. They will ask and answer questions, demonstrate, refer to the text, describe, explain, determine, know and apply, read and distinguish. The third column, the modifiers or the adjectives and adverbs, are valuable because they tell us some level of achievement in the performance that students will exhibit during the unit. And so in the standards themselves that are picked by the grade three team, we find these modifiers explicitly, sufficient, with accuracy, and appropriate. So after we unpack the standards into nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, we can then use that information to determine a few things. First, we can use the nouns to determine what students know and understand. And so we simply list them down. We can use the verbs to determine what students are able to do at the end of the unit. So we can be more explicit in this column. Students for this unit, they should be able to ask and answer questions about a text, describe and explain character, traits, motivations, and feelings, sequence order and cause and effect relationships, which is the actual language that uh, is in the standards picked for this unit. Then it leads us to the purple box, which is how might students demonstrate mastery of these? So these concepts, this content, these skills. And this is where we can start to plan the summative assessment of the unit. And so in order to show mastery of these standards, here in the yellow boxes, in order to show mastery of these standards, students will demonstrate through this product, which is in the purple box. So for the grade three team for this unit, they have determined that students will need to have read the story with purpose and understanding in order to retell the main events in the same setting and with the same plot as the original story. Students will need to demonstrate their understanding that characters have different personalities, motivations, and points of view of the same main events. So unpacking the standard really zooms in into what concepts and content the students will know and understand and what will the students be able to do because there are verbs that are very specific 
to the types of actions that students will do to perform the standard. That helps us to figure out the summative assessment performance task that the students will be performing at the end of the unit to show the level of mastery of the standard. This also helps us to figure out what deep enduring understanding or big ideas will students take away after the unit. So for this section, what the grade three team did was to synthesize the unpacking of their standards and then rewording them into a big idea statement. So they have two statements here that by the end of this unit, readers will uncover an author's meaning and tone by identifying and interpreting keywords and phrases, and a character's or narrator's point of view can help readers gain a deeper understanding of characters' motivations and actions in a story. The usefulness of unpacking the standard continues when we develop essential questions, and so if we take a look at the unpacking of the standards for this unit in the green box and we scroll down to the essential questions, we can actually develop questions that have to do with content right here. Questions that have to do with concepts and process and so skills and concepts right here, and perhaps to provoke thought, we can ask a question that allows the students to provide opinions, their opinions, and to give evidence to support their claims. So as you can see, unpacking a standard really helps to start the planning of a unit of study.